берем. Hey YouTube, what's going on? For today's video, we're back on the Enduro Rig again. Been loving this thing lately coming to autumn. And today we are here at the Hamilton Park Mountain Bike Trails in Gore. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you would have known I found this place in the lockdown about six months ago. And we're now back for the first time in ages and there's heaps of new additions. One of them being these new trail signs and names to trails. This is super awesome, super professional looking. There's heaps of new trails and there's heaps of cool stuff going on. And I thought what I'd do for today's video is give you guys a look at the new things I've added, show you the park a bit and try a bit of riding as well for myself for fun. So what we're gonna do to start, we're gonna put the chest mount on, show you guys a couple point of laps the trails and then go from there start off we're gonna start on gravel submarine which is a grade 2 beginner trail and then link up into hamburger which is a blue trail so the majority of the trails here are super easy and beginner friendly which is awesome perfect place to take people to get into mountain biking but here we go so this one starts off berm dropping a little jump into a roller a nice mellow right hand berm another rollable step down this big berm here oh a slide that's a bit of pedaling. And man, check out these autumn colors. Such a good time to be riding today. Bit of flat pedaling, nice and beginner friendly. Bit of uphill and downhill. Okay, now I think, actually, you know we're still on the same trail. Something. Hamburger's the one up here, I think. Phew. Good for fitness, too, in here. Okay, another little rollable jump. I'm gonna scrub over it. Turn it firm. Okay, and this links into hamburger here. It's got some bigger pumps. Little jump. All rollable though, nothing mandatory with the gap. I have berm here. A little gap. Yup. Left hand berm. And then a step down. You can skip this feature if you want. If I'm choosing to hit it, left hand berm. Man, look at those colors in here. Into the berm to berm the leaves. Yup. So fun. Left hand berm. Manual that roller. Finish. Little uphill roller there. Perfect. Okay, we're back at the intersection where we went this way to the left and over those pumps for hamburger, which is like the pump pumps and step down. I'm gonna show you what's right if you just stay on gravel submarine. So the right hand option is definitely the easier one, it's still pretty fun. It's got these berms. Pump into the berm, we manual into it. We roll it a berm. Super safe to slash through to the trees. You want a bit more of a pedal for the roller if you want it. And back out to finish. Okay, we're back at the top. That was gravel submarine there. And we're now gonna hit Charlie Brown, which is a grade three or a blue trail or intermediate. So this is the hardest trail here going by the sign. But again, it's a trail I'd be comfortable taking any beginner on, even if they don't necessarily have a mountain bike. But anyway, here we go, we're in. Turns off a pretty crazy pedal. No sharper turn there. Oh, it's a little bit rougher since it's not gravel, I guess, but the clay is cool. To a little berm here through the trees in the sun. Oh, a little drop through a little gap through the trees. So there was an option to ride around then if you wanted to. So again, very beginner friendly. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, big steep roller. We're gonna jump it. Again, that's rollable though if you wanted to roll it. Now do we got uphill berm little like table toffee type thing okay so so far I'm not sure how much harder this one is right hand berm left hand berm I definitely found gravel submarine more enjoyable so sort of downhill you go faster it's still cool still showing you guys all the options here hopefully get some of you guys riding in here okay and that light and the trees are unreal like so cool being in the woods Okay, where are we? Oh, okay, so why it's a blue feature? They got this gap jump. It's the biggest jump here. And it's not necessary to hit it, but you can. Oh, my buddy, hold that puddle. 
pretty cool little gap with a progression. Definitely more intimidating looking than what it actually is to ride. Okay. And then we end up back at the intersection here with the trail at the pumps that way, hamburger, and uh, the gravel on that way. Now, when you're on a hamburger, if you go over these first couple pumps and then hook left, you can get into the pinball skills trail, which is a grade two. And actually pinball goes right between the gap of the gap, just make sure there's no one coming to jump it so you get side swipe. Then you're into it. This one, a bit harder to pedal as the gravel's a bit softer still. That's okay. Still very fun. Going through these pines. This is the Pinball Skills Trail. Pretty easy so far. And normally like skills trails have little jumps or like features to practice on from my experience. I haven't seen anything yet, but that's okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is why it's a skills trail. It's a little roller, straight into a berm with a small and big drop option, both rollable or skippable, tight berm there. And that's the end of the skills trail. Just to show you guys the other entrance, here's the other entrance here, so you can go into the woods. And so that trail there is gravel submarine. What's really cool about these trails is that they're all like multi-directional, so you can ride them either way. This makes sure you're looking out for other riders. And to show you guys where this is in Gore, so over there where those trees are, um, I put my finger on it, like those trees there, that's the Hamilton Park BMX track. So you got the BMX track that's coming around, there's a gravel path all the way to here. So it's super easy to find. Now another bonus of these trails, you don't feel like riding back up the trail the other way to what you came. There is a really easy gravel path pedal back up to the top, which is really nice. And what's really cool about it is there are trails that are fun enough that I can have a bit of fun on them, but also somewhere like you could take your mum with you, for example, she doesn't ride much or even like young kids are just learning to ride. It's a great place to build skills. What we're gonna do now, we're heading back up to the top. I'm gonna get some non-point of view clips and try and do some cool stuff on here that hopefully no one's done before. Sweet, so to start off the non-point of view clips, we're here on Gravel Submarine. What I wanna do, this first little jump here, rather than just jumping the tabletop, I wanna go from the tabletop here to jump from there, all the way across and land on this pump bump here. So I wanna go from there to here. Let's give you guys a little bit of an idea, the perspective, I sort of laid my bike in between. It is way longer than the length of my bike, so you gotta go from there all the way to there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the GoPro on my phone a couple times to get some different non-point of view. So I got my phone over there already for this side, I'll put it over there. Might jump over with the GoPro and let's show you guys the running. So you start off up there, you gotta pedal down here, pedal around the berm and then try and send it. And the speed is set up for that little gap. So it might be tricky, so I might end up pedaling from way over there, but we'll give it a couple of goes. So I can't get it this way. I might move some of these bushes and just try and pedal flat in across the hill and do it. But in any case, let's get into it. So I think this is probably the biggest possible gap here. It's one I've been eyeing up for a while, so keen as to send it. Thought I'd show you guys the POV and the point of view of how we do this. So I start way out here for the gap, pedal on the gravel. Then we try to hook right as fast as we can over the roots, can't slide. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Around the berm. Over. You. Man, that is an exercise. Sweet team, well chuffed to get this gap done and to get it done second try. A big case the first time, but I reckon from there all the way to there, it's got to be like. I don't know, maybe 20 feet, so a really decent gap for the Hamilton Park Trail, the trail we get her. What we're gonna do, we're gonna move on to a cool berm I wanna shoot next. Here's the berm, big, almost 180 berm, probably the biggest, most fun one here, it's a little step down before it's what we'll do. Set up the phone somewhere here and the GoPro somewhere there, get a couple non point of views of it, and then move to the next feature. Okay, next up, we have this little step down with the bigger option on the left, small option on the right, and we get a couple cups in the bigger option.
moving right along we're here at the gap jump so this thing's probably the most intimidating feature here for a lot of people and the thing people are scared to do because of the gap but honestly like this thing isn't even that big like it's not even a bike length long it's just scary because there's a gap which makes it high consequence and it's a bit skinny but really cool feature and an awesome feature like to work up to and to build a confidence jumping gap so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to jump and hopefully inspire you to get onto it Sweet, super fun and easy jump for progression. I even did a little ET over and a can lander and proved you can jump it both ways so you guys see how easy it is. Uh, the way that's easier, I think, person is going this way and jumping it. Just make sure you go fast enough to do it the first time and jump straight because it's skinny. What we're going to do, move on to a couple berms. Sweet, so here's a set of berms that starts off the roller, then to this left berm down the hill. And then it goes into another roller into this right hand berm and the lighting is just so cool in here There's leaves everywhere. Just awesome. So what we're gonna do get a couple clips in here with the phone and the GoPro now Awesome. I am well chuffed with this wee like Canadian kick out thing I was doing to turn through here, slashing the dirt, slashing the leaves. So, so much fun. I'm thinking that's gonna be an awesome point to end this video, guys. Obviously, there's way more features here I haven't ridden from the non point of view. Like, for example, just over here, there's a step down to the burn, and there's a couple back to back berms there. And now I have ridden those before in a video, so I'll put the little thing up here in the corner of the video over there where I actually did a full top to bottom lap on this section here. If you guys want to check that out and see what it's about, just decided not to do it again today because I don't want to repeat the footage. But in any case, that is going to do it for the Hamilton Park uh, mountain bike trails. Like, so stoked for the stuff the Hockney Mountain Bike Club has done in here. Like, this place is awesome. And it's a bit of fun whether you're a professional level rider or an absolute beginner. So, highly, highly recommend it. In any case, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. So, be sure, give the video a like. It helps me out a heap. Share this video with anyone who might want to know about these trails or might enjoy it. Comment what your favorite part was below and subscribe if you're new. Cheers for watching, team. We'll see you in the next one.